Well, okay. All of you shooters and reloaders, the three circles, passengers and members, it's Fortune Cookie 45 LC coming to you from the Hot Lead Zone Express. We're on our way out of Salt Lake City now and thought I'd like to go ahead and summate a video on the Limb Saver Deresonator, which is right here on the end of this barrel here. It happens to be a Bullberry 357 maximum custom barrel for my Thompson Center Encore. And you've seen me shooting half inch groups, but reliably sub one inch groups at 50 yards. If your barrel is free floating, then the limb saver deresonator should be put close to the muzzle. If your barrel is not free floating, it should be put right about here near the forend. Well, this happens to be the Bullberry hanger system, so I'm going with the positioning close to the muzzle. And the way you use a deresonator is you put the deresonator about, oh, maybe an inch and a half from the muzzle, and you go ahead and fire a five shot group, say at 50 yards or 100 yards, whatever your distance is for your rig. Taking deer or hog, even big deer or hog, some would say the 357 maximum can be used for elk, but let's just go ahead with deer and hog for now. At any rate, you start an inch and a half from the muzzle, and you fire a five shot group, say at 50 yards, and you can test at 100 later. But anyway, start at 50 yards, shoot a five shot group, and then you go ahead and move the deresonator in a direction of your choice and shoot another five shot group. If the group gets smaller, you're going the right direction, then you keep on tweaking by moving the deresonator, say closer to the muzzle a half inch at a time, and you shoot another five shot group. And when you get the smallest group, you can stop at that position. Now, if you move the first move and your groups don't get better, then you could go the other direction. But the idea of the resonator is that the limb saver rubber device out here dampens the barrel vibrations, also modifies the barrel vibrations. And barrel vibrations are very important. Even the bench rest shooters know that the, the whip of their barrel does a lot toward the small size of their groups. But the fact of the matter is it works. When I move the deresonator, I get smaller groups, so I get into, a, into the neighborhood of one whole groups at 50 yards. And it's repeatable. I've shot repeated groups. Now once you get the positioning of the deresonator on the barrel that gives you the best accuracy, then you simply take a caliper and use the depth gauge to record this distance. Now with my load of 27 grains of 1680 powder and a 180 grain spear hot core bullet, jacketed bullet, gives me 2100 feet per second and groups that are in the half inch to 7 eighth inch group. And the distance from the muzzle to the deresonator is 0 0.611 inches. So I can repeat that with ease. Now it turns out that 24 grains, which is 3 grains less than maximum, I've got to go to 1.650 inches to get the same small size groups. So if I'm shooting 24 inches, I know I can set this at 1.650 inches, and when I switch to the 27 grain charge, then I move it out to 0.611 inches from the muzzle. Now this works also if you have to put your deresonator here near the forend, you just measure the distance from the forend with your calipers. And you can reproduce that anytime. Keep that in your records with your load. And if your deresonator doesn't help a certain gun of yours, you simply don't use it. It slides off easily. And the thing only costs like $10. So it's, it's kind of a simple solution and I found that it's well worth the $10. I wouldn't go without it 
on this barrel. Even though Bullberry might not be in favor of that. By the way, talking about Max Wisdom on the fortune cookie, my dad always told me that the fortune cookie was an emblem of good fortune, but also of fertility. And he was a wise man. This rascal is readily available from Midway USA or your other favorite outlet online, such as Mid-South, Shooter Supply, Natchez, etc. A custom barrel like the Bullberry, sure it's more expensive than factory stock barrels, but because it's a Douglas barrel, which is a premium barrel, and a higher quality barrel than what the factory uses, these things just make you smile when you shoot the accuracy. I'm not getting that kind of accuracy with the stock barrels, but then again, they cost less, and for hunting, the accuracy is fine. But if you want to shoot small groups at the range, or hit that hog just above his eyeball, a custom barrel can help you do that. Now, you've seen me shooting this rig at the range on multiple occasions, so I don't need to include any of those videos here. This video fills in the blanks, and... Uh, if you are looking for some simple solutions to control your barrel whip, your barrel vibrations, the Limb Saver is, is perhaps the least expensive way to go and the simplest. Bye for now.